Hello, my name is Florian Buchon. I'm a brewer and brewing engineer and I would like to share my knowledge with you. Today is the 23rd of April. It is a day of the purity law in Germany, das Reinheitsgebot. In this video I will explain you why it is a very special day for all German brewers. The Reinheitsgebot, the purity law, is one of the oldest food laws in the world. It was established by Duke Wilhelm IV of Bavaria on April 23rd in the year 1516 at a meeting of the Bavarian estates in Ingolstadt. On the one hand, the people were to be protected from poisoning since all sorts of harmless and dangerous substances were added to sour beer to cover up the bad taste. At the same time, a quality standard for beer needed to be established. On the other hand, the supply of beer for the population was to be ensured, thus preventing excessive beer prices. In addition to providing high quality beer for the population, the purity law also served to the supply of bread for the population, since in Italy only barley was allowed to be used for brewing beer. Wheat was to be used primarily for baking bread. Therefore, it became necessary to enact a law to protect this important food. The exact meaning. The following is a quote of William IV, Duke of Bavaria. In particular, we want that from now on in our cities, markets and in the countryside no more pieces than barley, hops and water shall be used for beer. Anyone who knowingly violates this order and does not comply with it shall have this barrel of beer as often as it occurs taken away from him by his court or a tree as a punishment. At the same time of the enactment of the purity law, yeast was considered only as a byproduct of beer production and not as an ingredient, and was therefore not mentioned. It was not yet known that yeast was involved in alcoholic fermentation. The purity law. Over the centuries, the beer as uh, a purity law has survived to this day and remains in effect unchanged. In addition, however, there is a Provisional Beer Tax Act in the Federal Republic of Germany, which legally regulates the production and making of beer. The Reinheitsgebot has become a seal of quality for German beer abroad. German beers do not contain sugar, rice, corn, millet or other malt substitutes or even colorants and preservatives and are therefore considered the standard for many breweries worldwide. Let's drink a delicious German beer and celebrate this important date.